Hey folks, Randy here at the Busted Stud Garage. Uh, we got the C4 Corvette interior reinstalled. It came out great, it looks terrific. Uh, the issue now is that these old faded seats don't quite match all of the uh, new components that we've installed and cleaned up. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put in some of those racing seats that you find on the internet is super cheap and uh, I think we got a good color match with the pair that we chose so we're going to fit them in here and uh, get them installed so let's get it done All right, so there we've got the new seat in position. Uh, it's not too bad. The color's not spot on, but it's decent. I think the door panels are a little darker than I'd like. That's all right, it's gonna look great. So what we're gonna do now is try to make a template to lay out the two different uh, bolt patterns, uh, and we'll make an adapter to go in between the rails and the seat bottom. All right, I think I'm going to start out with a piece about 17 inches square. That should get us pretty close to where we want to be. Good. All right, we're going to get this cut out and lay it down on the rails and put the seat on top and try to transfer the holes from one to the other. All right, there we have it. One template. Lay it down in there. Fits so good. So far, so good. Be happy with that. All right, I've got the old bolts back in there on the rails and positioned my template where just about where I think I want it to be. So I'm going to push down and hopefully the heads of those bolts will transfer over to the cardboard template and uh, yeah not too bad all right I've got my template there and I'm going to mark these spots with a sharpie so they're easily visible very nice I'm going to poke a hole in those spots and then I'm going to actually bolt this template down onto the rails and get ready for the next step. template screwed down onto the rails just as though it was the actual uh, adapter that we're going to have soon and what we want to do now is uh, put the seat back in here and I'm going to do the same thing in reverse I'm going to put the bolts for the seat sticking out the bottom so when I put it onto the cardboard template hopefully it'll make it an impression and I can see exactly where to put the holes for the seat into the template. Wish me luck. I think that's right about where we want it. What do you guys think? Give it a little, little push here. Wiggle it around a little bit. Okay. Maybe we'll get lucky.
And okay, there's one spot. Not very good. Not very good at all. Darn. All right, folks, it, it took a few tries there, a little bit of denial and error, but finally I uh, got a template with holes for the rails and holes for the seats. And what we'll try to do now is transfer this to a piece of metal, maybe an old stop sign or something, whatever we have handy laying around. And then we'll be back and try to put it all together. All right, folks, we got our piece of metal. We cut this um, according to the template. I'm gonna screw it down to the rails, and then um, I'm gonna move it forwards and backwards to take the four bottom mounting bolts out. And then we'll take this assembly out and attach it to the bottom of the chair. Here we go. So, okay, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, you're going to want to put the bolts in in a couple of spots where uh, they're, they're on top of the rail so you can't get them in afterwards. <clears throat> so we're going to try to line this up with the uh, holes in the seat without making too much damage. That looks decent. It's working. All right, there you have it. So uh, the next step is to flip this over and get it screwed down to the uh, to the car floor. All right, folks, what do you think? Seat's in there, it's not too bad. I think I'd like it to go back a little bit further, maybe about two inches. I'm gonna uh, disassemble it and make that modification and call it a day. I'm uh, gonna rinse and repeat on the other side. One drawback of this uh, system, these seats are a lot heavier than the original Corvette seats, I did not realize that, and the whole uh, project added 18 pounds to the car. Uh, not really thrilled about that, but it's not a race car anyway, so um, maybe if I lose 18 pounds, it'll even out. Probably a good plan. So it looks like that's another happy, satisfied customer at the Busted Stud Garage. 
Have a good day. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. Don't forget, it's free to subscribe and it helps us a lot. If we get enough uh, viewers, we'll be able to bring you bigger and better videos more often. Thank you very much.